Hello and happy Friday everyone because it's Friday here. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> it, may, it may not necessarily be Friday by the time you're watching this, so Or greetings. wherever you are in, your, in the world, you yes. know, watching this. So greetings and good day to each and every one of us. If you haven't seen us, haven't heard us, we are Alan and Danielle and uh, of Happiness Retreat Center. We just like to come on every now and then to share some insights yes. because there's absolutely nothing <laughs> that you could want, wish, desire, or going through that somebody else haven't been, haven't, <laughs> haven't gone through, haven't gone through, yes. and can therefore normalize your struggle, give you some insight, mm -hmm. um, pointing you towards the right directions, and so on and so forth. So yeah, well, that's are. something very powerful. You just say that you know, it's like whatever you're going through, somebody has been through it. Absolutely. And the, which means the answers are already on planet Earth. They don't want to come. From out of space. From out of space, from Mars, from <laughs> Venus. So they're here, they're here. We don't have to, you know, work hard to get the answers. The answers are here. And, and that, then, I think that's good news. That's good news. That's good news. And hopefully, you know, praying that the answers will come. No, 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 it's already here. Yeah. And, and uh, if God is going to, I mean, we don't say not to pray. You're going to pray, but God is going to pull the answers from this planet Earth for you. It's here. And um, that is comforting. It is. To actually know that the answers you are looking for are already, already here. here. You and know what, especially too. when it comes to uh, healing, for example, um, then Daniel tells people usually, there's no such thing as incurable disease. The only problem is you haven't found the cure yet. Mm -hmm. You know, because Daniel, if you think about it, um, as long as the disease could be cured in one person, mm -hmm. you can no longer call it incurable. That's right. As long as, you know, a couple can overcome divorce, it means it can be overcome. Mm -hmm. Somebody overcome cancer, it can be overcome. It can, it's no longer like incurable or right. impossible, you know. Right. So the scripture says to God, all things are, are possible. possible. Are you know? So there's absolutely nothing, nothing that cannot be fixed, repaired, yeah. <laughs> be changed. It's sometimes in an instant, you just need that shift and that perception. Yeah. So today we were talking about just like, okay, um, this may resonate with you if you are falling into any one of those categories yeah. of people we're about to mention you know let's say for example guys forgive for, <laughs> forgive, forgive the background noise we are home <laughs> so that's window, what you're gonna say <laughs> the windows are open but you know what this may relate to you if you find yourself in a place in your life where you've come to the realization that my life is not working out now that, that, that doesn't mean your entire life. Sometimes it's just that one aspect of your life. One of the four pillars, yeah. Yeah, it could be relationship, it could be finances, it could be personal growth, it could, it could be your spiritual evolution. Could it be could health. be It could be health, that is a big one. But you come to the realization like that something got to give. You may, you may, but now see if you can identify with this. Maybe you've come to a place where you've realized that I'm, I'm just deeply unfulfilled. Mm -hmm. in this relationship right um in, in my body i'm very very not satisfied with the state of my health for example these diagnoses that are coming in and those pills that i have to take and i'm stuck with having to take this for the rest of my life maybe you've just recently been diagnosed with a, a, a very serious sickness mm -hmm. that could be a, a health problem could if you're in that case sorry sorry we are you know we yes. truly uh sympathize with you that's what Absolutely. they say. They say that. Yes, sympathize. Yes, okay. And also, what else, honey? I mean... Well, I think what Daniel is saying is very simple. Um, we just want to give you here a shift very quick. Uh, I focus on shifting your identity. Anything you want to create, you have to be the person who can create it. Anything you want to manifest, you have to first become the person who can manifest it. Maybe you want to manifest a new diet. You want to manifest a new body shape. You want to manifest a new financial spectrum. You want to manifest a new job. You want to manifest a new relationship. Even the current one, you want it to become new. Um, you want to manifest. Manifest means you bring something in the invisible into potential state to become factual. You move the invisible into visibility, into real experience. My goal, what I focus on always is, can you shift your identity? Can you become the person who can do that, right? Sometimes we want the thing but we don't want to become the person who can create the thing. Mm -hmm. So if you're feeling stuck, you feel like 
your life is not working out. That Don't check out. Don't be too quick to give up. That's not the point. The first thing you want to do, I mean, Daddy and I, we believe strongly that the, the, the blueprint of existence is two things, healing and evolution. She focuses on the healing aspect. You know, she helps people heal uh, from toxic beliefs, you know, past trauma and things like that. I focus on shifting your identity, right, which is the evolution part. Once you have that in place, I think you can. Act. You cannot be stuck, to be honest with you, because right. your spirit, your energy, your vibration, you flow out of the body. So, and yeah, yes. and, and the first step to healing is recognition. Recognition. What does that mean? Recognize that you are sick. Yeah. Now, not not to get into a place of guilt, condemnation, mm -hmm. but it's just vulnerability, yes. right? You will not go to the doctors unless you realize that something's wrong with something you, is wrong with and, you. And, and that you need medicine and you need a diagnosis and you need a treatment, right? You need help. So the first step to any types of healing is recognition. So I want to ask you this: Have you recognized the part of your life that mm. you you? See that needs healing. Um, healing. Sometimes we just think it's the body, or maybe our, our psyche, or maybe mm -hmm. mentally. But sometimes it's part of our lives that just that is sick. In other words, it is not. Um, you're not experiencing aliveness. You're not experiencing vitality. Mm. You're not experiencing abundance yes. in that area of your life. <laughs> so, so, so the first step is recognition, and the second step is just really. Um, it's just really um, doing sitting down with yourself. And recognize this, all the places that this thing is, is hurting. Yes. Recognizing the emotions. And that's not to analyzing them. I can't believe I'm feeling and this And feeling way. sorry for you. No, no, no. Victimizing it's, yourself. It, it's really accepting the emotions. That doesn't mean you're going to dwell on them. But it's just that the, the part of you that is human, the part of you that's feeling disappointed, the part of you that is feeling um, sad, is okay. To allow this part to to to, to emerge and yeah. to express itself, or else it's going to uh, get trapped in be the body. You will be suppressing it. Suppression leads to depression. And sometimes you may have to, you know, uh, talk to a spiritual life coach. You may have to talk to uh, somebody uh, who just can help you. Somebody with the resources. Like it's it's it's, it's, a, it's an emotional detox. Talk about the emotions, and now surrender it. You you must surrender it to a higher power. I always tell my children, my husband, my my, my clients, my students, like, I really don't know how anybody can do this life <laughs> without, without God. your soul power, your soul guidance, which is the God in you, the Christ in you. So that, that, that third part is unconditional surrender. Yeah. Now, there's surrender. There's some part of us, I don't know, I really want this relationship I want to hold on to it. I want to really, hold really... on to it. But here's the thing, though. I mean, G Jesus Christ said, apart from the, the Father, the Son can do nothing. The work that I do. I do it through the Father in me. You must understand there's a higher power in you. The scripture tells you that he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Right? We want to keep this for 10 minutes. So we want to give you a practice. So what you want to do is the first thing, take a piece of paper, right? At least just be in the mindset, I'm working on something to get better. Right? So take a piece of paper That's and do what Daniel says, which is number one, look at the four pillars of your life. Personal happiness, which is spirituality, your connection with God, basically. Are you happy, right? Take a piece of paper and write it down. Okay, what are the thoughts and the emotions that come every single day to stop you from being happy, okay? Just make a list of that. That's your personal happiness. Now, relationship. What is it that is not working in the relationship, okay? What is it that you have noticed? Okay, make a list of that. Health-wise, are you sleeping well, right? Are you digesting your food properly, right? Do, do, have you been diagnosed with certain things? Okay, make a list of the potential things that you believe are contributing to that, even to your mental health, whatever it is. So make a list of that. Remember not to make yourself a victim because you are looking at something that's good. And I'll do the same thing with, fi for, with finances. Make a list of what is not going right, what Daniel is telling you, okay? When you're done with that list, just reach out to us. You can find us at happinessretreatcenter.com and send us an email and say, okay, I have done the list. Now I want to be able to heal and to evolve. And we will provide you with the necessary tools and one of our greatest tools is called the Soul Journey Spiritual Masterclass, right? It's amazing. It's a, it's a powerful course. And we also will be coaching you through the course. It doesn't matter what it is that you're dealing with. Whatever you have on that piece of paper, just have it ready when you reach out to us for the perspective call. And remember that no disease is, is incurable and no problem is unsolvable. unsolvable. So sometimes you just need that um, hope. That hope and just self-belief and a support system, yeah. right? So, so until then, 
，拜拜。